One thing we have to do very frequently when dealing with vectors is compute the magnitude of the vector. Magnitude is basically the length of the vector, just how long the vector is. So let's talk about how we would do this. So determine, to determine the length of a vector that has an initial point and a terminal point, basically all we're going to use is the distance formula. So let me show you the notation that we're going to use and then I'll, I'll jot down the formula for, for the magnitude of a vector. When you have a vector v and you want to find its length, you're going to put double absolute value bars around the v. And what that tells the reader is that this means not the vector itself, but simply the length of the vector. Um, you can call this the length of the vector, the magnitude of the vector. A lot of times we'll call it the vector's norm, N-O-R-M, the norm of the vector. Um, any of these words mean the length of the vector, and that notation is using the double absolute value bars. So. Now, how do you actually find the magnitude of the vector? Well, again, it goes back to this distance formula. So we'll take a big giant square root, and I'm assuming we remember a lot of this from our old algebra days. We'll take Q1 minus P1 squared plus Q2 minus P2 squared. And this is nothing more than the distance formula you learned a long time ago from one point to another. So you're just taking your initial point and your terminal point and doing the distance formula. Now, oftentimes our vectors are written in component form. So this formula here actually becomes even a little bit simpler than that. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. If your vector is written in component form, then you don't have an initial point. Where you, well, you do, but it's zero, zero. And so those terms drop out of the formula. So this is the one that's more commonly used, is we would say that the magnitude of V is the square root of V1 squared plus V2 squared, because the other two terms that are in the formula are both zero, so they don't really show up. So if you're gonna commit something to memory, I would suggest committing this guy to memory. And we'll practice computing the norm or the magnitude of some vectors coming up in the next video.